Well, hello and welcome to Launch with Camille, a channel that helps female entrepreneurs create wildly successful digital products. So I'm Camille Victoria and I'm going to be taking you through a step by step tutorial of how to create a wedding invitation. So if you would like to get into that niche, then make sure you stick around or maybe you want to just create invitations in general, then definitely listen to this video. Make sure you stick around to the end where I'll be showing you how to bundle up your designs to create a bundle to put on places like Etsy. Maybe you want to put them on Creative Market or your own website. So stick around for that. And if you like this video and like what I'm talking about, then definitely hit that subscribe button because I would love to show you more videos in the future. So let's get going. I can't wait to show you this video. Let's go. So when you start creating wedding invitations. A great place to start is actually Creative Market. So here on the screen, this is bringing you out to Creative Market. And all I did was search flower illustration. There are lots of different flower arrangements that you can actually have on your invitations. I love this rose gold here as well on the lettering. It's just so beautiful and really in at the moment. They've also got lots of bundles. So watercolor bundles are really popular especially if you want to do quite a lot of the invitations as well grabbing hold of one of these bundles gives you that variation when it comes to actually creating invitations if you wanted to say pop these onto your templates then you would actually head over to here you would go onto the commercial bundle so that's at $12 at the moment um, obviously they have an extended commercial license as well and that's $45 so you might need to double check with their terms and conditions to see which commercial license you should be using with them. So it's really important to check that you can get PNG files otherwise you can get restricted when trying to transfer them over to Canva. If you're worried about this you can just also go onto their shop, contact them via message and just double check that these files can work in Canva. So here we are on the Canva dashboard here. So as you can see, I've got the width and height. Now this I'm going to use as an initial invitation. So I'm going to set this at 105 and the height will be 148 millimeters. Another thing you might want to do is if you hit file and go down to show margins, this will give you an example about, you know, what margins you should keep in, especially when you come to print. And even the show print bleed. So this is really important when you come to printing. So make sure that your design does not go out of those lines, but or if it does, these will be the lines that actually get cut off when it comes to printing. So these are a couple of the designs that I've actually picked up from Creative Market. Now I've uploaded them already, so they're ready and waiting to go. Clicking onto these particular images then that I've got, I've got a border one that I absolutely love. If you wanted to go and drop that in, then you can do that. But I'm going to change it up. So if, for example, you've got some flowers a bit like this, then you can actually get them to size, drag and drop, and have a little play around. See what works and what doesn't. Again, making sure to stay in the lines. Now, as you can see on this one, I haven't, I've gone over the lines, but because it is that you know flowing design, it doesn't matter if those bits at the side get cut off. I wanted to actually choose a font that would really go with the wedding invitations. So I did a little bit of research on this and there's loads that you can get out there from Creative Market that are so, so beautiful, but I'm gonna be using the Canva ones today. Now a free one is Great Vibes. If you add these editable versions, it's great for your customer because they will be able to pop their details in really, really easily. You can also do versions where you can do it yourself and then send it on to the customer as a more customizable design. So then just adding the like subtitle if you like there, you have been invited to and then it'd be Camille and Phil's and the details underneath I'm going to add now. So you can change up the colour if you would like to do that with the text. Now the way you could do that is actually clicking onto the colour and then it brings up the picture. Now you can actually 
match the colors to the actual image in your picture. And I love that. I love that feature in Canva, which is beautiful. So thinking about the details you need to add in for the person's wedding. So for example, you would add in your date there. You could add in your address as well. So putting those dates in there. So again, these can all be edited by your customer, which is fantastic. And that's how you can create that passive income because you're not having to do all the customization. Putting an RSVP and your number, that just also gives them the ideas of what that particular text box is all about. You can add in lines like elements you can add in elements like lines as well to section out this particular invitation. Now I love this. With this particular bundle, uh, what came with it was these lovely watercolour marks. So I'm adding these to the picture just to give it a bit more depth and also make it look like so it's not static and it flows. So there we are. I've put it together really, really quickly. Again, you can add as much detail as you want or as little detail as you need. So it didn't take me long to put together, but it is mainly about the designs that you can get from Creative Market or Etsy or if you want to design them yourself. I'm happy with this. I'm going to download it. Now, remember when I was saying create your bundle? This is what I'm going to show you now. So you do this by simply going over to the resize section. And I'm going to change it up. I'm going to do an Instagram story and I'll tell you why, because I've seen some beautiful designs um, that are actually on Etsy at the moment. And you can use this as a digital form. It's giving that variety for your customers and also adding it to your bundle. So again, it's really, really simple to make this because you're literally just resizing it for your customer and then you simply download it again. So I have to say that Canva has slightly confused me because they've changed around their settings, but I'm going to show you how you can share this template with someone. So ignore the top section now. That's where we used to share the template link. If you head down to more, and as you can see in this circle here, it actually says template link. Click onto that one. And there you have your template shareable link. So we've done your invitation and we've done your digital invite. I'm now going to show you how to create a poster. So again, resizing this and I'm just typing in here poster. And there it has it straight away. It's brilliant. Now I'm going to change a bit of the text and also change around some of the elements as well. So instead of you have been invited to, I'm now going to change that over to welcome to. So welcome to Camille and Phil's and then take all those details out. Then I'm using this particular um, font at the bottom, which I love. Okay, just playing around with it a bit. I'm adding in a pink. I just absolutely love pink at the moment. And there you go, just made it into a quick poster for you. So the last and final one of the bundle is going to be my wedding placement cards. Now again, it's a little bit different, but what I'm going to do, because it's a place card, I'm going to make the flowers more of a feature and then enlarge the actual text with their name on. Now, I love looking at Etsy and their listings and what they look like. Now, for example, here, this just shows you a good example of some bundles that people have put together. So if you wanted to just use mock-ups in general, um, you, you can definitely use this in Canva. And I'll show you how to do that. So I've uploaded my particular invitation and I'm now going to find a mock-up. So you go up to Edit Image across to smart mock-ups and then if you go down you'll be able to find these invitation kind of mock-up designs now I'm going to click on one of them here and there it straight away pops it in there for you so you don't really have to worry about it 
but today I'm just going to really concentrate on my designs and I'm going to show you how to do a mock-up. Now typing in here wedding mock-up it brings up lots of wedding mock-up designs for you which is super exciting. Now I'm going to choose this one in particular and then just edit that a little bit and then I'm going to pop my invitation onto the top of this white background. Might take some adjusting. Yep. Make it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so that is a perfect example of what an invitation could look like. So if you just want to do invitations, that would be great to go out. So for the phone, now I'm going to go on to frames and I'm going to add in the phone. And what you do is very simple. You get your design, I'm going to position this forward, and then you drag and drop it into the phone. Just tilt it to the side. Perfect. Okay, so now for placement cards. But this time I'm going to mock up the idea. So edit image, mock ups, and I love this one. I mean, this can be used as a business card one in particular, but I quite like it as a place card. Then you add this to the image. There, it gives it that shadow design. It's really, really lovely. And then I'm going to literally add in these watercolours so it looks like it all flows and it's all part of the branding. And the last but not least is, of course, the poster. So this could be a poster that actually goes on to um, a board outside of the wedding. So I'm going to show you how to mock up this one in particular. So we've got a couple of examples here. This one in particular, you can add it to the board background. I'm going to keep it in with a particular similar design that we've been working on already. So again, just making it simple, doing the background there and then adding on the poster. You can also get bundle mock-ups as well. They're not just available on Canva. You can actually have a look at places like Creative Market that do mock-ups. So definitely have a look at them because they might give you a bit more of a wider variety. So I'm going to just quickly put all of the designs into one bundle. I love the idea that you can actually create the order of service kind of cards. So I'm gonna add that to my bundle. I'm just gonna mock that together. So there you have it. That is our step-by-step -step tutorial of how to create wedding invitations and of course bundles. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe if you liked it and I hope to see you in my next video. See you then. Bye-bye.